Hiya, Sarah here with a haul video today. Um, I entered a competition over in over at Facebook for um, Thompson Crafts and they were offering a voucher to their store and you had to create a craft project using um, the inspirational mood board that they created. I'll leave a link below of their shop as well as the Facebook group because their new challenge is the Autumn Challenge so if you want to go and check that out and be in with a chance of winning the next month's challenge then the links will be there in the description below so without further ado I'll unbox this and show you what I got I did order a couple of things that I was missing from my doodle bug uh, Christmas collection there was a few um, enamel bits that I wanted and then I also got the lucky dip kit that they offer so I haven't got a clue what's in that part of it so I shall soon find out. Oh, I see Prima. Okay, that's my little card. That's Thompson's Craft Supply there. And I'll start off by showing you what I ordered particularly. So this year's sprinkles for Doodlebug these cute ones here, the enamel shapes and the milk and cookies and I also and I also got some washi with cupcakes on, I make cupcake charms so I thought I would use that in my planner I thought it would go quite well so I got those and then the rest of this is my lucky dip kit so I'm just going to remove the cardboard and then show you everything one thing at a time okay so first off I'll show you the papers that I got first off I have Cartabella adored tickets from the devoted collection so it's like a distressed blue dot on one side and then this is the reverse with all those tickets on it no doubt I'll be using this side because I have a little boy so I tend to use blue sides if there is one next up I have from Glitz Design Beautiful Dreamer this one's called Beautiful Dreamer Toil, I think, and it's got an old illustration. If you can see that there, and the reverse of that is a ledger again in the nice distressed style. Next up I have, a, ooh I've never had a Graphic 45 paper before, this is Graphic 45, um, sorry about the noise, Home Sweet Home collection and this one's called My Sunshine. So on this side you've got a classic like recipe book style illustrations. And then the reverse, which is the kind of side that I use. It's got all different vintage labels on it, all added together. So that'll make brilliant um, matting and layering pieces there. Next up I've got A Walk in the Park by Echo Park, and this one's called Raindrops. So the blue aqua side is like this. I did request boy colours, so that's why I have lots of blues. So it is on purpose. As you can see, they all work really well together. Next up, I have Graphic 45 Couture Collection, and this one's called Stunning. And it's up oh, that way up for graphic 45. They have the brand at the top. 
It's lots and lots of peacock feathers and they are absolutely gorgeous. And then the reverse is a deco art style lady with a feather all over it. It's that size lovely as well. I might have to reserve that for another project rather than a baby boy one because it seems a shame not to use this. But I shall leave it on the blue side anyway for now. Um, next one is Lush, I think the company's called. Oh no, it's My Mind's Eye and it's Hip and Luxurious Basics by Minds, My Mind's Eye. And this one is a blue floral. These are all in a greeny blue. And then, oh I love that, it's a cream with a blue stripe down it. I like both sides to that one. So that's that one. And then finally from the papers I have Kaiser Craft Secret Garden Collection. This one's called Posy. And on this side there's a red polka dot. So I could use this side with my Christmas planning and scrapbooking. Then the other side is this nice grey blue with a really pretty floral in the corner. So I'm not sure which side I will use for that one either. So that is my papers that I've received. Next up I have some embellishments. Oh no wait more paper. Ooh, this one's quite new. I have the Chasing Dreams paper pad. I'll have a quick flip through this. So we've got, hopefully you can get a little bit of an idea there. So it's lots of um, blue, pink and yellow and black. That gives you a good idea of the colour scheme that runs through it on those tags there. So I have that 36 sheet paper pad, Chasing Dreams, and it's a crepe paper. Um, next up I have a sheet of stickers, which I think I may use in my planner. And these are from the Simple Stories Posh. I think this one was called. So there's lots of cute icons on there. And there's gold foiling, if I can catch the light. There we go. You can see the gold foiling on there. So I've got those. I've got some by FernleyDesigns.com. I have some wooden frames. So I'll take these out and have a look at them properly. Okay, so with these frames they come with the inside part as well like this which is quite cool so we have this little frame here a rectangle frame oops there we go Oval side of that one and put the larger one there. So I'm definitely going to alter and probably paint white with a hint of blue, maybe on one of those to use. I think that would look really pretty. Okay, next up I have these. Glitz Peekaboo Dance in the Sunshine and these are transparent layering pieces. So that would make a really nice planner divider. <laughs> I have to see what I use these for in the end. So these are like um price boards I think. For salons and beauty parlours. This one's 
says, I wonder if you wonder. Got a frame. Some cute birds. A lady with a parasol. Every cloud has a silver lining. Pull these down because you can't actually see it all. <laughs> there we go. That's a bit better. And this purple frame. And so that is what's in that acetate pieces set here. Next up, a, another Fernley Designs wooden piece, and this is an intricate circle, which is really pretty. That will work really well for layering. It's gorgeous. Got some washi here with a blue stripe, and it's the nice skinny washi which works really well in planners or layering a little bit behind photos for a bit of interest in scrapbooking. I have these gorgeous blue, antique blue cottage roses, I think these are called, this style. They are so pretty. Can't wait to use them. Also, Prima flowers. I've never had any Prima flowers before. And these are fabric. I'm going to take these out of the packaging and show you properly. So, there we go. They've got a really sweet florally daisy. This reminds me of summer dress trim from when I was little. I'm sure I had dresses with this kind of trim on it. And they've got little pearls in the centre of these and they're like a spiralled fabric. They're so cute. Love them. Also, more Prima flowers. And these ones are paper. Love that rose. So they're absolutely gorgeous. So they are so so pretty. Just gonna put these in here. So that's what came in with my lucky dip kit, and I will be making some process videos using this as well because I've got ideas going through my head already and I'll just bring back in my other items which I got which were my doodle book and Bella Boulevard Christmassy cutesy design things that will be going in my planner possibly my December daily so that's everything I got from Thompson's Craft Supplies. I'll be leaving links below as I said so do check them out and like and subscribe if you're not already. I've got lots of process videos coming up hopefully. So have a great day everyone.